Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where we just had a very awkward succession indeed. <laughs> it was really, really awkward. However, we can recover from this fairly easily. And the way that we need to do that is by going up to high tribal authority. So once we do that, things will get a lot better. We need 702 prestige to do that. To get that prestige, we need to do two things. One, we need to win this war. If we win this war, we will gain 350 prestige and we'll get 63 gold, which we can turn into prestige. Ticking war score is on our side. We have no idea where the enemy units are. Last we knew they were retreating down this way, but who knows? We're not going to go on the offensive here. We're just going to tick on forward. No, they are not up here. These are just rebels. They aren't. That This isn't anything to do with us. <laughs> so I have no idea where they are, but this is fine for the moment. So we're going to need to raise a rune stone once we're at peace. Um, Let's see here. When can we do that? Yeah. Any time that we're no longer at war. Sounds good. We have to win this war. White piecing will not do it. This will not be useful for us. So that's not going to be a thing. We're just going to wait it out. We can hold court, and that might not be the worst idea. It will cost us a little prestige. Well, let's go ahead and do it. There are three petitioners. Before the court is underway, my chancellor pulls me aside. To my surprise, he's brandishing a garish earring. My lady, there will be so many attending your court. I know you're somewhat challenged in remembering every face and from whence it hails. I propose a solution. We require all at the court to wear dress, which includes local style recognizable to all. He foists an earring at me. For those without clear regional fashions, I've taken the liberty of hiring a tailor who can suggest some traditional garb for them to wear. So we could never forget a face and be fine. 67% chance of 600 diplomacy, or rather 300 diplomacy lifestyle experience and six court grandeur. And that's what we're doing. Excellent. We succeeded. Next up. The air is thick with anticipation as my vassal, Jarl Sigurder, approaches me. My lady, I come with grave news, but with a solution to fix this problem. It's become increasingly clear that the Sami and Norse are becoming more... perhaps even too similar. It's paramount that we show them that it's us, Norse, who are the forefront of innovation. We can host a festival. 350 free prestige for this. Do it. Over the last few days, I've heard tell of a mighty hero of the peasantry who has won the hearts and minds of the common people through incredible deeds and matchless bravery. This hero, who goes by the name Thorgos, has been defending the small folk from the Franconian raiders and has now traveled the way to Lund to seek an audience with me. There's no doubt that Thorgos is a great hero, however, my court are adamant that I do not elevate a commoner beyond their station. Pay him 50 gold, and he becomes a knight. Well, he would join a court, rather. We would grant him a county currently held by the chieftain of Lubeck. Interesting. Pay him 80 gold in exchange for 75 prestige. Or imprison him. I think our best bet is this one. He gets the chiefdom of Lubeck. I don't think this guy actually holds anything else, so that doesn't really matter to us. Yeah, we're going to do it. Fantastic. He is now unlanded. Beautiful. My business here is done. So that was quite worthwhile for us, actually. So we're going to continue to tick forward here. We're keeping an eye out for the enemy forces, but as of yet, we aren't seeing any. So that's certainly interesting. We need to revoke the Kingdom of Sweden as soon as possible. Of course, we can't do that right now. We need to have high tribal authority. And to do that, we need 405 more prestige. The best way to get that prestige... Yeah, that still costs us prestige, even though we're female. Okay, just checking that. The prestige that we need, the best way to get that will be to win this war. Now, for right now... Is this guy in another war? He is. Oh yeah, that's right. So he probably came down here to fight this war here. Attacking in a war against... 
Okay, that's fine. We're just going to chill in this war then. I'm completely okay with this. Now, we're currently working on innovating city planning. That's going to take some time, for sure. No doubt about that. But yeah, this is completely okay. We don't have any problem with this right now. The only issue is that we're very interesting in, in, interested in calling a hunt, but we can do that next month. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to get the gold to raise a rune stone from completing this war. Right? That costs that gives us 66 gold. How much does it cost to raise a rune stone? It costs 50 gold. So that's fine. We can call the hunt right now. Get that on cooldown. That'll boost up our prestige by a decent amount. Hopefully by enough, but uh I kind of doubt it. <laughs> How much would we actually need? We would actually need 393 from this. I mean, here's 150. So now we need 200. That's not too bad. We're gaining like 10% of that per month right now. An addi additional 90. Okay. So we need 153. Our spouse has terrible martial skill, I'm sure. Let's check in here. Yeah, I, I don't think there's any risk right now from this guy. Grand halls have been constructed in our capital. That's really good. That bumps up our prestige per month. So we're very, very pleased about that. And yeah, we don't have city planning yet. City planning is definitely something that we want. We are working on it. We're also working on crop rotation, which is fine. That is completely and totally fine. For now, we're not too worried about the cultural or religious reformations. At this moment, all we want to do is win this war, get the Kingdom of Sweden revoked. Now, we're going to work on swaying this guy while we're waiting on why are we going to do that? The reason that we're going to do that is because we want to be able to imprison him or revoke the title, which we don't know what our chances are right now on that. We can see right now we're at minus 24% on imprisonment, but we'll see. At the very least, we want to hold the Kingdom of Sweden. The Kingdom of Norway would be very good to hold as well. We want to take both of these ultimately, and I believe, do we have a claim on them? Strangely, we don't. I would have expected we would have had some sort of a claim. But okay, I guess not. Not too much going on here right now. We could challenge this guy to a trial by combat. We only have 15 prowess, and this guy's... Or actually, this lady's prowess is 7. I mean... She will designate a skilled knight as her champion instead. Yeah, she has no champions available. Okay, so that's not actually a thing that we can do. We could get an alliance with Gandalf here. But we're not going to do that. Apparently we had smallpox. Okay, sure. I wasn't aware of that. But that's fine. We're going to take Praetorian Guard. For additional prestige. We're up to 3.2 per month. So that's not great. But it's not terrible either. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. We need to get up to high. That has to be our current. Our current goal. Uh, let's see here. We could pay. The, this option will be chosen in 180 days. Three court ganger, and this guy would pay those two five gold. 150 prestige for insulting him. Done. Okay, so that gives us enough prestige to bump up to high tribal authority. Perfect. We're at 60% war score right now. And let's look at what our title revocations are looking like. We can't actually do that because that's under siege right now. So let's look at what the chances for Norway might be. 
Okay, minus 16 is not that bad. So we need to wait for this war to be over. He's actually defending against this guy, huh? Okay. Well, we're probably not going to do this. We'll let this war play out. I don't think that war is going to last very long. So that should be okay. Now we do need to work up additional prestige. And we need to think about maybe revoking this entire Jarldom. Which would just be this chiefdom, right? Right. Wait, does she hold the Jarldom? She does. Okay, so we want this whole thing. Uh, do we have stress? No. We'll stay for a while. Maybe we can help him. Cool. So yeah, we want to take this Jarldom for sure. So what can we potentially do here? Hmm. Either of these, nothing happens, but he'll react. I got it. So, 76% chance. Our best options is helping him out with the dining hall. So, we'll go ahead and do so. And this lady here, I mean, if we wanted to revoke this, what are her primary reasons? It's our de jure capital, but mostly it's her personality. Interesting. Okay, so a 66% chance of success here, or a 70% chance of here. So we'll go ahead and run that. We apparently failed on the dining hall. But we'll proceed over here. We did successfully sway him there. 66% chance here. Let's give it a go. Now it's time for bed. Okay. Apparently we failed, like, every one of those rolls, which is kind of funny. But we have managed to increase his opinion of us a bit. And he lost 10 opinion. And that was because we really messed the place up. The library and the dining hall. Eh, fair enough. Fair enough. That did not go well. But, I mean, the odds were on our side. We just didn't roll well. So, that's fine. Checking in on our guy that's fighting us. I mean, he's still fighting his liege over here. So, not really a concern at this time. Checking in on the Kingdom of Sweden. They're at plus 17% on their war. Cool. So, that's completely okay as well. Now then... We really do want to revoke this. If we... What would she actually do? Hang on. That's not very many people that would join this rebellion. I think that's not bad. Do it. So she's going to decline that, obviously. We're going to raise up troops... And we're going to have to raise them up, like, here. So this is going to be a second war, but that's okay. Shouldn't be a problem. Yes. So they have, like, 3,000 troops. This is honestly enough. So we're going to head in over here. We're going to keep an eye on these guys for the moment. We're going to take prestige. We definitely need that. They're just kind of being indecent. Okay. Five months here. Do we have a siege leader? Uh, let's find out. Yes, we do. Beautiful. So, siege leader, good to go. And we are going to watch them just leave. Sure. If that's what they want to do, then we're going to take these guys. We're going to give them a siege leader as well. If we've got one. Unfortunately, we don't. But we're just going to send them up, off over this way. They're going to start a slow siege out over here. 
Now, we don't care about anything that's happening up here. This is all completely irrelevant to us. So that's fine. We don't actually care about either of those either. So let's just head on in. We're at 78% right now in the Artifact Claim War, and that should just go to a, a conclusion. We will finish up our siege up here in 40 days. And that should get us a lot of war score, actually. Like, a whole lot of war score. So that will be done in a moment. Then we're going to stack everybody up over here. I just wanted to get some progress here. It's not going to be much because we don't have a siege leader, but that'll be fine. So we're going to head out over this way. That'll cost us nine gold. Acceptable. So yeah, that puts us up to 26% right now. Beautiful. Is she in her capital? Yes, she is. Checking in on their soldiers. They're just finishing up this siege up here. That's acceptable. We'll let them do that. So we're going to group up here. It's going to take us four months to finish this siege, allegedly. Their siege is going to be going to be done here very shortly. How much is that going to cost us in war score? Only 4%. That's not a big deal. Not a big deal in the slightest. Of course, we're continuing to sway the King of Sweden in the background here. We want to get his opinion up very, very high. He's a little angry right now, and we were also a bit of a tyrant earlier on, but we're going to continue trying to sway him. We definitely rolled very poorly on that event. But we're going to finish up the siege on their capital. He just gained 25 opinion of us. Beautiful. And their capital is finishing up now. Does this finish the war? It does not. Okay. So we're going to come up over here, and we're going to land over this way. That's going to cost us 13 to embark. That's completely fine. No problem right now. Our fine crown has low durability, and we probably want to go ahead and reforge that. So we'll do some. We can also ransom off this person. They are not giving us anything there. Court amenity setting decent fashion was invalidated and has been replaced with last century fashion. Interesting. We're still on outmoded fashion. But yeah, we can't be on decent fashion because we're tribal. So I, I'm not sure what was going on there. Okay, so up we go. We're at 90% on this 91 on this artifact claim war. That's beautiful. I don't think they have any possibility of coming back in this war now. So these guys, of course, we're going to have to defeat. We have ticking war score right now. We're just going to walk up over here. Are we going to get there in time? 45 days. It's going to be close. We'll see if they give up on their siege. They do. Okay, so that's perfect. We're going to continue to chase them. And let's see what they do here. Not a whole lot is the answer. But this is amazing. We're very, very happy that we're going to get this back. That is very... So in we go. And we should win this. And this will likely win the war for us as well. Or very close to it. We'll see if we actually... We're probably not going to stack wipe them. But this will be a very, very clear victory. It was enough. Perfect. So we will go ahead and enforce those demands. So we're going to imprison this Jarl. And then, of course, that means that we revoke this title. They're a known criminal, so we revoke that. We're going to gain stress. But that's fine. So this is now ours. This belongs to our brother. If we were to revoke that, that would be another act of tyranny. For this moment, we're not going to do that. But we do have access here. Now, that is de jure part of this duchy, so that's perfect. Yep, that'll work. Um, we could become a comfort eater. That's fine. Our other war is going to be done very shortly. Now, we do have a dangerous faction here. This is populists. 
Not a huge amount that we can do about that. Wait. Oh, okay. I see. I was going to say, why are you part of this? But I understand. It's fine. So we're going to, I guess, do something like this. They're going to send their ultimatum pretty much any way we slice it, but I would like for them to be a little weaker. So we'll go ahead and do that. Did that not get us an alliance? Okay, it did. It actually disbanded the faction. I'm surprised about that. The other war is done as well, so we will go ahead and enforce demands there. We're going to get 79 gold, 350 prestige. Beautiful. We're going to disband our troops, and we're going to raise a rune stone as soon as we can. Assuming we can. We don't fulfill all the requirements. Do I have to be male? Oh, uh, we have not recently conquered a territory, gained a rate, gained a rank, or have a recently deceased ancestor. Okay, so we don't actually have the ability to do that. But we can host a feast, and that'll be just fine. We will go ahead and do so. Cool. Welcome, friends. So, we also want to work on... Let's see. We could think about fabricating a claim. And I don't remember how to do that anymore. I never fabricate claims. Uh, this would be on the county. We would need a claim on the kingdom, right? So if we wanted to revoke this. Yeah, one or more holdings are currently occupied. Um, He's not at war anymore. But there are definitely holdings that are occupied here. It's a peasant revolt. Okay. So that'll probably go away soon enough. We're going to take 10 gold. Excellent. And I mean, just getting access to this holding is a big deal for us. That's a very big deal. This is rude. Very rude indeed. I think we'll go ahead and arrange a marriage here with our sister. We'll not accept... The marriage will have low fertility. Oh, right. Our sister's 31. So that's probably not a good option. <laughs> uh, we could go for our player heir and daughter. Maybe we'll have another daughter. Or rather, another son. That would be nice. We only have the one child right now. That is a little problematic. For sure. For the moment, we should go ahead and work on getting her a probably stewardship. Actually, a diplomacy education right now. A diplomacy would still be better here. So we're going to go for that. Cool. We can construct in our capital, and we may want to, actually. That gives us more personal power for the moment. So this guy's up to 67 opinion right now. We still don't know what the odds are here because these two are occupied. West Giedish claim, and this is a peasant revolt still. That'll get occupied back here in four months, so that's fine. So why are we trying to get Sweden so hard? That's... Why, why, are we, why are we trying so hard to get Sweden, I should say? That was a weird way to say that. But why are we trying so hard to get Sweden? That is the question that might be on someone's lips right now. The answer is because we want this, 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 and this. That's the answer. If we are Sweden, then all of these things, or rather if we hold the Sweden title, all of these things will be much easier for us to revoke. So that's the overall goal right now. Now, we can revoke this at a certain time. Right now is not necessarily that time. This is our half-brother that we get this. That's a little odd, but okay. We would want to revoke this. And actually, if we look at our succession right now, this looks like we would get everything here that we have currently. So that's fine. What are the odds of revoking this? 80% right now. It is an act of tyranny, which is slightly problematic, but this guy's opinion of us is coming up. Mostly because Tyrant is coming down. We could send him a gift. 25 gold, and we'd lose stress for 29 opinion. I'm actually going to do that, and now if we revoke this, there's a 100% chance. Now, we will gain stress, 
but that's okay. This is something that we have to do. There we go. Cool. So there's another location for us. We're in a much better position than we were a moment ago. <laughs> or rather, at the beginning of this episode. So that's great. Of course, we can still hand Vipuri out. And we can hold some of these titles ourselves. So that will be perfect. That's going to be what we're going to aim to do. But for now, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to see about getting Sweden under our control. Now, that tyranny is a bit of a problem. But it will eventually go away. And we are currently pregnant. So that is probably good. Probably. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time.